Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Today we have messages from the person on your mind. We're gonna see what comes out and how your person is thinking and feeling. I try and get as much information for you as I possibly can. It's not a pick a card reading, but please don't worry, there's plenty more of those still to come on the channel. This is a bonus reading. Remember to take what resonates and the way it resonates for you. Those are your messages. If it's not resonating for whatever reason, then it's not your message. So just tune in with one of the other readings on my channel. Spirit does want to connect with you today. Okay, let's begin with some oracle cards arising above. So doves may be a sign for you or white birds. Uh, 11 or 11, 11 may also be a sign. Twin flame energy showing up in your reading to begin with. So this is really kind of about finding solutions to those lower, I'm feeling like there are lower vibrational energies here. I'm saying like some grittiness, some kind of mud. So it may be that you've got into an energy of like, this is really difficult, this is a struggle, this is a challenge, what are we gonna do? I see solutions coming in, raising above, connecting with those higher vibrational energies um, in order to find solutions, see the positivity in this situation in order to move forward. And also harmonizing things. If there has been some disagreements between you, right, it's that dove with the olive branch. So um, your person may be reaching out to you with an olive branch or with an apology, okay? Uh, but definitely harmony, that peaceful energy between you and your person. You were the best thing in my life, or you are the best thing in my life. So your person really recognizing your contribution to their happiness, um, to, um, I'm gonna grab this deck, to uh, their life, you know, your high vibration, uh, the beautiful experiences that you've had together, the beautiful experiences that you've shared, right? Them loving, connecting to your high vibrational energy. Sorry, my cards are getting all crazy. Let's see what else is going on. Empty. So there's something here about feeling depleted. Maybe you've poured a lot of yourself into this connection um, and now you're feeling drained. You've poured more of yourself than you sort of intended to or meant to. There may be something in this connection where you are feeling drained and there is a need for replenishment. Um, it could also be that there is a sense of loss or like a no contact situation, but we can explore that further. Like maybe I'm hearing silence, so there may be some silence from your person or they're just not talking about the real issues. Oh my goodness, falling in love. This is so nice coming out for you. This is from the Myth and Fire Oracle deck, one of the Lumiere decks. So. Their feelings for you are only growing, okay? It's deepening the way that they feel about you, okay? They're kind of head over heels in love with you or that their feelings are really kind of developing. Maybe they weren't expecting to feel this strongly about you or maybe they thought that they could forget you, but they can't. They realize that they have fallen in love with you. So let's jump into your tarot, see what's going on here. Yeah, I see 1111 again coming out in your reading. Um, I feel like somebody in this connection is waiting for some sort of commitment. It could be to do with kind of lining things up, like some sort of divine timing, some sort of divine uh, right alignment, like getting onto the same page, getting into the same place. You may be in different locations, right? Could be that someone in this connection is waiting for a commitment from the other. And it's just like there's an energy of I'm tired of waiting or I'm done with this. I'm done with waiting for you to commit to me. I'm done for waiting, done with waiting to hear about how you feel about me. Um, I'm gonna explore other avenues. I'm gonna put my energy elsewhere. That may be how you feel sometimes or just that's a decision that you've made within yourself. I've just been like, I've tried my best, but to create something stable, something solid for the future, I've been committed to this. I've given my all to this. I've waited for you to figure out what it is that you wanted. And 
you know, so far, they haven't met you where you're at, okay? They do care about you. They do have loving feelings for you, though. Let's explore this further. Yeah, your person ha is, has a fear of commitment. That's what's coming out. I see Taurus Pisces energy showing up really strongly. So your person has a fear of commitment, uh, is what I'm seeing. So they may want to be, like keeping you in limbo, you know, or just staying on the fence about things when it comes to talking about the future, about creating a shared vision for the future, about making a, an ultimate decision about things. They've got a lot of fears about making the wrong decision that will impact their future. Or, and a lot of insecurities about like being a good enough person and a good enough provider for you for a family, um, you know, being solid enough, being consistent enough, like there's a theme of consistency here. I think this is something that they haven't spoken to you about, it's something that they haven't explored or expressed. Goodness, you really do it for them. Oh yeah, they feel very strongly about you. They may not have been treating you like how they should, but you make them really happy. You've brought a lot of expansion into their life. You may have helped them through a tough spot or a difficult time. I feel like you've poured a lot into them and into this connection. You've really given your all to this connection. You've shared good times together. You may have traveled together with this person or have children with them. Okay, and what's really lovely is that they, it's like the way that they feel about you is very well-rounded in the fact that there is that frisson, that, that chemistry that you share, right, that pulls you together, that attraction, um, but also loving feelings, like a respect for the friendship, a respect for the way that you see them, the way that you show up for them. So it isn't just, you know, the physical. Leo's energy, Scorpio energy showing up in your reading. They feel like you're a match as well. Or they recognize that you are a match or that this would be a very happy partnership, but that you are different people. They're all, it's also a recognition from your person that... Um, you're very different people. You've got different love languages. Maybe you've got different visions for the future. Okay, and this may be why it's difficult for you to get onto the same page. But in a way, they kind of love that because you bring um, nuance to their life. You bring different, a different vision. You do bring different inspiration and ideas and things that they haven't heard of, um, which they find very creative or very inspirational. <clears throat> Let's see. There's something here in your reading about, sorry, I'm getting several different messages at the same time. It may be that you have something in your energy field whereby you get jealous or you get triggered around them giving attention to other people and that, you know, they may be rightly so, but I feel like they're not doing it intentionally. Um, maybe they're doing it without thinking, they're being a bit thoughtless or, um, or there genuinely isn't anything to it, um, but they recognize that this is a trigger for you or that uh, you're insecure or... Uh, you have a fear of being abandoned or left. They, even if you haven't spoken about it, they, they, can, they can sense that from you. And it, it resonates with them as you not being all in. Okay? So maybe you're thinking, well, you are not the one that's choosing me and you're not all in. But there's something in your energy field that is showing up in this reading where um, there is... A piece of you or a part of you which is a little bit reticent that does want to be small which does want to protect yourself from and this may be based on a past experience 
Okay, let's see what else is going on. Let me resonate with you. If it doesn't, that's okay. It's not your message. Beautiful energies. There's a really strong energy here that they're carrying love for you, that they would like to renew that love or renew that offer of love or extend an offer of love to you that their heart overflows with positive feeling, you know, beautiful, loving feelings, romantic feelings for you. But there is an energy where they're asking you to wait for them or where they hope that you haven't moved on or that they hope that they haven't left you behind and that you still have feelings for them or that you reciprocate their feelings. I mean, never put your life on hold for anybody, but there is this energy here of them maybe keeping you in limbo or just asking you to wait until the time is better, okay? Maybe they wanna wait until they're more stable or they want you to wait until they've got more to offer you financially. They know that there's a decision that they need to make and that they've been stalling, they've been putting off making that decision. There is something here within them that is quite um, triggering for them and they may have self-sabotaged this a little bit or they may be like trying to um, abdicate self-responsibility where they're kind of saying oh no this is this is you this is your fault this is up to you or you need to make the decision right um, that may resonate for some of you I'm going to grab this deck uh, rather than taking personal responsibility they're just like well I want the ultimate decision to be made by you and you're just like you recognize that this can you personally recognize that this connection is at a crossroads but there's something here where your person, like, they don't want to take the responsibility for the future of this connection. <clears throat> yeah, Sagittarius energy, Cancer energy as well, that may resonate with you in your situation. So I feel... They see your specialness. You may be an empath and intuitive. You've got a beautiful glow around you. Um, you're very open-hearted. Your heart is open to this person. I feel like you're moving into like easier territory, something which is uh, smoother, which is easier going for you. You know, reconciling yourself to the situation or to the way that your person is. Again, this, they, they want to be with you. They want to express this love with you. They always want you to be in love with them. But there is this reluctance from your person to make a definitive decision. Again, this energy that they want you to make the decision so that um, they don't have to be responsible for what happens. I feel like you've given them many chances. You've given them lots of options lots of op or lots of opportunities to to do this, to take action. It's like they feel powerless. They feel powerless like in your light, in your energy, because you shine your light very brightly, very high vibrational. You know, you've got that earth angel quality to you and they feel like a little bit powerless in, in your light. Like they feel like they are not enough or they don't shine as brightly or they can't even be seen because you shine your light very brightly. This, may, this isn't something you're doing intentionally, this is subconscious. They see that you have angelic energy. They're afraid of hurting you as well. This is one of the reasons why Things may not be in alignment or may not be as smooth as you want. They've got something in their energy field where they're afraid of hurting you because they know that you would never deserve it and they would never want to do that to you. So they're like, it's better if I don't do anything at all. They feel a bit powerless. I'm hearing it's out of my hands. Maybe they feel like their future is up to somebody else or they want you to make the decision or um, that external circumstances are calling the shots. That's not necessarily the truth, but it's how they feel. I see 
see them making some progress here. They're coming towards you. They do want a good future. You know, they do have a vision for the future. But I feel like they're getting in their own way a little bit when it comes to this connection. They tend to kind of uh, create drama where there is no drama, right? Or where it needn't be so difficult. So they do create a little bit of drama around things when it comes to commitment, when it comes to the future. But I see them wanting to create something really beautiful with you. I see them like being in your life for a long time, making a commitment here. And I see them kind of taking steps towards you. But it's just like, they're dragging their heels a little bit. It may not be as fast as you would like or, um, you know, that they're taking steps towards you, but it's very like a step-by-step -step process, like building something for the future or building something together. Um, and it isn't gonna happen all at once. It's a step-by-step -step process. So Taurus energy showing up in your reading as well. Okay, those are all the messages that I have for you today. Thank you for being here with me. I've loved being here with you. Let me know how it resonates down in the comments. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, there is nothing like having someone connect to your own energy to get the insights that you need um, and time scales and things that I am unable to give you in a general reading like this. Psychic Source are offering Lumiere subscribers their first reading for just $1 a minute. It's a really amazing deal because some of these things can get pretty pricey. They're a really friendly platform. All the psychics over at Psychic Source have been hand selected for their gifts, uh, which gives you peace of mind that you are connecting with someone genuine. So you can have a reading with a five star psychic of your choice for just $1 a minute. They also offer a satisfaction guarantee. If you're not happy with your reading for whatever reason, you can get another reading absolutely for free. So that also gives you uh, peace of mind and confidence in them. So do check out that deal. It is linked in the description box below. I'm sending you lots of love. I hope to see you. You soon take care.